Hey, what's up guys? Dustin Steiner from Esports Max here. I'm joined once again by EMP's Armada, but this time he won CEO 2014, so he's the champion now. How are you feeling today, Armada? Uh, it feels very good. Thanks for asking. All right. Of course, of course. So walk me through your match with Mango. What exactly happened? Do you think like uh, he just made some errors or what happened? Uh, I'm not entirely sure actually. From my point of view, I actually feel like we both played worse than we did at MLG. I'm not sure if we both have been a bit lazy since MLG because coming into that tournament, we both was very prepared. And maybe we both played a bit less this week. So I felt like the overall level was a bit worse and maybe Mango was affected by it more. Sure. Uh, so yeah, that's a bit of my impression. Okay. So if you feel like you guys were playing a little bit worse, how would you say you got you made it all the way to Grand Finals? Was everyone else just playing that much worse? Yeah, hey, Good Mr. Jabali! Hey, how's it going? Congrats to Armada. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so anyway, how do you feel? How do you think you made it to Grand Finals? You feel like you aren't playing quite up to par. Uh, I think one of my biggest strengths, even if I'm not playing my A game, I usually somehow end up doing pretty well. Like consistency wise, I haven't placed below top four since March 2007. That's quite the, you know, quite the period of time to be top four. I mean, it's crazy. So, um, what, what exactly like has your mindset been? Like going into EVO now, like what, what are you going to be doing to prepare for that? I will play a lot and I will study my opponents and I will do my absolutely best to win EVO. I really want to win that tournament, so. It's a lot of you know practice in front of me, a lot of uh, studying. I've been very, very lazy in that part, I gotta admit, so I need to fix that. Yeah. You, you think a game that's been out for as long as Melee has that really requires like you know active study and things like that, or do you, do you th think you've like nailed it like to where you can just go in and be like, okay, I'm gonna show up this tournament and just like, not with no preparation, but like kind of not as much as you would for a newer title where you have to like study tech and like try and discover new things. What do you think? Um, well, in a way, I guess like the top five players have like consistently been placing in the top five or maybe slightly worse on one or two occasions over the past few years. So I feel like the five of us is usually, you know, doing it anyway. And of course, we don't prepare as much for every tournament. A lot of other st stuff in life is, you know, coming in between sometimes, but merely even after all these years, it's so much stuff that, you know, everyone can become even better in. Every single area in my game, I see my flaws. I don't see anything good. I see my flaws and I try to work towards perfection. That's what drives me to continue playing the game. All right. So I saw that you picked Young Link there. Like, you know, go through that for me. Why did you pick Young Link over Peach in that matchup for at least a little bit? Uh, against Hungerbox, it started back in 2010, Apex 2010. Uh, he was beating my Peach badly with Jigglypuff. Uh, unless I remember him correctly, it was 5-0 in games. And I realized I lost two American finals against Jigglypuff against, uh, versus my Peach then. And I kind of like, I did not like the matchup. I don't think the matchup is good for Peach. And we don't have even Puff players in Europe to practice with. So I was like, I should pick up a character that Hungerbox have little experience against that also is doing okay against Jigglypuff. And it's worked out very well for me. And I've been beating him consistently, except for one drop set in Grand Finals at Apex 2012. And this time, Hungerbox, like, maybe he wants to try a new character because the Jigglypuff Young Link has been, like, in my favor slightly every time. So this time he wanted to try something new. Fox, obviously, a better character and winning the matchup. Uh, so I think it was more like I won't have the advantage in the matchup. But for me, I really don't like Peach versus Puff. So I was like, I need to have faith in my Young Link. And it worked out in my favor. Well, obviously, you made it back to the Grand Finals and just took it, like, it was a 6-0, pretty much. He didn't win any sets, did he? 6-1. Uh, 6-1. He did one, win one set, yes. Okay, so uh, what went wrong in that one match that you dropped, do you think? Uh, it's very small margins, usually, when I play against Mango. Like, a lot of games goes down to last stock and, like, 70 80%. So it's like whoever has the best read on the other person in that clutch moment. Sometimes it's me, sometimes it's him. So it's small margins, usually. And... Yeah, he played better in that game than me for sure. What's your mindset like when you get into those clutch moments? Like you're like, oh, I gotta get a hit, or like, you know, go into that for me. I never feel more alive. I like when it's like last stock, last hit, and even last match. Like when it all comes down to one single situation, then I feel very alive. People are high. I feel like pumped, and 
I really like those situations. I can't describe it, but being away from Italy for one year, I never got back to that, you know, Adderling kick. And that was what I missed one of the most uh, with stopping playing melee during 2013. So, I don't know, I like it. And I don't mind those moments to last for like maybe even a minute, you know? I like it. All right, great. So are you planning to stay here in the U.S. until EVO's over or uh, are you heading back home? What are you doing? Uh, I arrived in America 27th of May, I think. Yes. Uh, late May at least. And I'm staying until the end of July, like one and a half week after EVO. Great. That should be, uh, you know, plenty of time to get some great training in before Evo. Then, all right. So, do you have any closing words or shout outs to your fans before we let you go here and uh, enjoy that belt? Uh, big shout out to both my brothers, of course. Uh, EMP, my team. Jason, my teammate. All the fans, especially it was, it was kind of hard for me after MLG. I really wanted to win. So, thanks to all you guys that supported me, and also shout out to my roommate Rocky sitting next up to me on the. The stage today supporting me and also to ESAM for giving me a pep talk before grand finals. I really appreciate that. So thanks to all of you guys. Okay, great. Before we go, could we see the belt? Can we grab the belt for us? Of course. All right. One sec. Okay. All right, let's hold up this belt. Come on. Boy, this thing's got some weight to it, man. Yeah. Wow. This is awesome. Well, anyway, a little higher. All right. So this has been Dustin Steiner from Esports Max here with CEO Champion. Empire Arcadia Armada. You know, please follow us on Twitter at Esports Max. You can follow Armada at Armada UGS at Twitter. All right, and great. Well, thank you for watching our CEO 2014 coverage, and just check out EsportsMax.com for the rest. Thank you.